sorry. While we have completed all of the free-to-play quests, there are still many things to do in this game. I actually don't even know if this is a thing. I'm pretty sure these journals are for, um, what's it called, uh, pay, pay to play only, but what we still can do is go on our next adventure. So something I'd want to do, wait, there are a thousand. So something I would like to do next is to try out different money-making methods to get a bond. And maybe I'll do a giveaway when we get there, but the goal is to try different money-making methods. Let's see, value. To obtain a bond, and let me go check out how much it is. Oh, these are fast. Wow. Okay. So, we're gonna... I'm just gonna do one inventory, and we're gonna go to the market, but... We are going to try different money-making methods to obtain a bond. Now, we are going to see how much a bond is as of today. Um... Most likely, the cost will go up, honestly, because of, uh, you know, just how it always works. The bond prices always go up when I had first started, uh, or when I, when I had first started, like, I think a year or two ago. Uh, hold on, I need to pause this. I think like a year or two ago. Um, the bonds were like only two, three mil, but we're about to find out how much they are actually worth after we sell off our Ender Dragon Shields. But yeah, we are going to try different money making methods. And on the wiki, actually, the OSRS wiki, they actually have a few money making methods. Some require more levels than others. But, um, realistically, there's just a lot of things that you can try. Um, and maybe if you have one, um, I don't, I, I, I may try it out. Who knows? Some of these I can't do just due to level constraints. Like, a decent money-making method is to make, like, smith root items. Like, how, who the heck, I know, that takes so long, you know? Um, actually, let's just trade one. Two eighty. Is it really traded at a thousand? I don't believe it. Yeah, I didn't think so. I thought I was like way too inflated for that. Oh, that'll double my cash stack. What about these spiders? 
scroll, we're gonna bring some stuff, cause you never know what you need for the cloak scroll. We can sell those bronze swords. We can sell those planks. We're just trying to sell everything we can.
a way to get like close scrolls consistently.
include scrolls from skilling. This thing isn't skilling, this is just like normal labor, but if I were to skill, I'm wondering what that would, if that would be good. Oh, it's my wood cutting. Three. Wondering if it's worth. Okay, okay, obviously didn't do that well. Let's get rid of these planks real quick.
question. If I can make it to a pond and free to play, I will do a giveaway that rhymes. And I will use that pond to go into members' worlds so that I can make more money. Um, and continue this series to see how much effort it takes to survive in a free to play or in RuneScape with purely um, with purely a uh, spending no money game. So realistically, I will be spending money if I make it to the pond so that I can give one away, but, but that's not on this account. So it doesn't count towards that thing, right? Um, but yeah, since you guys, you all have stayed this long, that's kind of the goal. Um, yeah, let's see. I don't think I need any of those. Let's get, let's get rid of these. Nice, berries sold. Uh, locks are underselling. Jeez. Jeez, man. Come on. Oops. Are they still called axes in here? Or are they called ha hatchets? Iron. Iron axe. Oh, you gotta be kidding. journey and amazing journey has made me appreciate and love this game so much more. 